This is video 17. Hi. This is an interesting video. Uh, we are talking about the uh, mental block, right? Uh, if, you, if you could uh, remember, in one of my earlier uh, video, uh, we spoke about how the mind ticks, right? So I, I have explained to you that we have this mental flow. Whether you are sleeping or whether you are on the bus, or whether you're watching your favorite football game so your mind is always uh, uh, having that flow you know the mental flow without you having to engage in any thinking but the flow is always always there i have explained to you it's like a river flow no? from there down to from up uh, from up the mountain go downstream through the valley and go to the sea so this is the natural pheno phenomena of the thinking mind Right. So I think uh, if you have not watched the video, please go back and uh, look it up and watch the video because I have explained explicit, explicitly uh, how the mind ticks. Right. So now I'm going to uh, go on a little bit further uh, to explain uh, more details of how uh, the mind works. All right. So as you know, <coughs> we we have a mind which I think I also I have also explained the mind is actually the software and we have the hardware. All right. The hardware is called the brain. Okay, and uh, uh, scientists has already uh, understood the brain. Uh, we actually have this brain over here, which is under the skull here. Uh, the brain is about this size, huh? about the size of the fist. It's a uh, 1.5 kilogram, and it's split into two. We have got this uh, uh, right side of the brain, and we have got the left side of the brain. Okay, so um, I I just. Uh, bump into a few friends recently and, and they say okay uh, Dr. Bax can you please tell me how can I be as creative as you are so I say uh, are you right handed he said yes okay so what happened is um, uh, people who are right handed they carry things using the right hand right you carry your briefcase uh, you carry your computer uh, you eat with the right hand uh, you uh, hold your girlfriend <laughs> with your right hand and so forth Okay, so what happens when you uh, activate your right hand all the time? Every day. So every day when you activate your right hand, you actually activate the left side of the brain, this part here, huh? left side of the brain. So when you activate the left side of the brain, uh, this is where um, the uh, logic thinking uh, plays. Uh, the formula, uh, the uh, system, uh, the step-by-step, -step, uh, the, uh, the everything that is... Uh, you know, logics, the numbers, uh, the maths, all on the left side of the brain. That's why you are always good at logics. When you are talking, I mean, arguing a point, you use logic to think. Hey, that's logical, right? Two plus two is four. You cannot be five, you cannot be six, you cannot be seven. So these are all called logic thinking. So what happened to the right side of the brain? The right side of the brain is your artistic brain where you write poems, where you sing song, where you draw art scenery, where you play music. These are all uh, from the artistic mind, the right, right hand side of the, uh, of the brain. Even, even, even uh, writing fairy tales, you know, telling all kind of uh, uh, imagine, uh, imagination, imaginary stories. And, and in fact, uh, invention come from here because you need to have this uh, right side of the brain uh, to conceptualize, you know, to imagine how your new gadget uh, will become or how the flow of the, the process of the new technology you're going to develop it comes from the right side of the brain so what happened? because you are right-handed you hardly active your, your, your right side of the brain because the, wi the wire system you are wired you know? the right hand is always uh, connected to your left side of the, of the brain but uh, uh, the right side of the brain is connected to your left hand but you hardly use your left hand so I told my friend I jokingly told him in fact I encourage him to tell him next time if you are going to the gym you use your left hand you know to carry the dumbbell <laughs> if you are going out shopping with a girlfriend you help her to carry using your left hand if your tire puncher you want to use the jack you jack with your left hand <laughs> So the more you use your left hand, the more active your right side of the brain becomes. And that's where creativity uh, has a chance to 
to work because you wake them up you always activate them and then you have a chance uh, uh, to become uh, uh, to become uh, more creative okay uh, i also want to uh, explain uh, something about the um, the nature of the mind right so uh, human being as uh, we have evolved i think in my uh, few uh, video i talk about caveman uh, caveman and they invented the fire to keep themselves warm uh, to also to protect them from animals and then after uh, we become farmers we have invented a lot of uh, tools for plowing uh, we also uh, then lit later uh, we also have gone to industrialize uh, revolution then aeroplanes uh, is uh, invented uh, computer is invented internet is invented and so forth all right so um, <laughs> we need all this good story uh, what happened Men become more and more lazy, right? More and more lazy, so much so that uh, we just want to press, hope that things are solved. We just want to press. I don't have to think. Like for example, uh, from uh, you want to go from this place uh, to another place, right? So every day uh, you use the same route. But suddenly one day uh, there was a lightning that hit the tree and then it, it dropped the, it blocked the road. Ah, uh, you get. You get disorientated. Oh, the tree blocked the road. How am I going to go to work? See? Because you, you become uh, lazy. You become lazy to think. You want to use the waste. And so much so, when you use the waste to another place, uh, another city, uh, you forgot about the roads. This is where men get, get lazy and the, and the mind and the brain get corrupted. Alright? So that, that is the... Uh, how to say the sorry part of uh, the sorry part <laughs> the sorry part of mankind i also want to explain to you uh, about one fact this fact is so important that i think you need to listen uh, human being i'm talking about today present day yeah? we hardly use the brain anymore so uh, scientists has actually done a lot of tests to see you know uh, uh, how much percent uh, of our thinking we actually do in our life throughout our life uh, before that i have also to explain to you uh, the brain actually is about this size, about 1.5 kilo. Uh, this is uh, the uh, size, and it actually consists of the right side, uh, right side of the brain and the left side of the brain, and together it plays all the important uh, uh, neurons. This neuron cell uh, in a hundred of billions, a hundred of billion cell, and every time when you are doing a thinking, uh, it connect. Dang, dang, and there is uh, what we call permutation. And each time when you're able to connect here, to connect there, and the mind is thinking, and, it, and the more you think, the more you uh, uh, get excited because more idea comes about. So the scientist says there are a thousand billion uh, chances of uh, permutation. That means you can think. There are thousands and thousands of billion chances for you to think but guess what how many percent of these chances this potential that we that we are using today how many percent 25 but they are here you say 25 percent no 15 percent oh 30 percent uh, of the thousands of billions of permutation for thinking we human beings are only using one percent yes just one percent how sad how sad why are we only using one percent because we got lazy we don't want to think anymore we don't want to think what to cook we just go and buy we don't want to we don't want to think how to solve the problem we just use the calculator we cannot calculate uh, mentally we are just we are just too lazy right so that that is the nature that's the nature of the mind that's why you are stuck that's why you know in the beginning i talk about mental block that's why you're stuck because you are not using your mind regularly enough all right so um the other side <laughs> the good point the good point is this because you're only using one percent of the thousand billion uh, permutation the chance of thinking you're only using one percent of the ability to think you have got 99 percent 
of your brain unused, not utilized at all. So just like a computer, when you buy a new computer, wow, it works very fast because why? Because you know you still got a lot of space, 99% space not used at all. <laughs> yeah. So this brain of yours, this mind of yours, also same. We haven't really used it. All right. So I'm going to leave you in this video, and you would think about it. You think of what I say, and think. You know uh, how uh, silly we are when we are given a real big important tool, the best processor in the world, and we are not using it. I'm going to leave the 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 thinking to you. Uh, you think about it, and then I'll see you in the next video. All right. So be creative, Salalu. You have a lot of uh, space to think now. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.